Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, The Secret Code. Today on The Secret Code, we're going to draw the face in proportion using a credit card. Simple credit card. Now a credit card has just about the right proportions for drawing a face. I say just about. There are, you can argue either way. You can say it's within acceptable parameters. That's one way of putting it. I'm going to use credit card. I have my ruler. I have it taped off. We're not using any numbers today. We're just going to scale it up and see what happens. Right here, I'm putting my card at the top of my paper, left top. And I am marking the height and width of the image, or rather the card. The image is going to be proportional to the card. The height to width ratio will be the same as the credit card. Square to my paper now. All right. Now I need my ruler and a vertical line connecting the two lines that I already I've already drawn. horizontal line no numbers everything is taped off and blocked we're just using the credit card as our guide There we have our horizontal, and now I'm going to mark the corners of the card, and I'm going to draw the diagonal line from across the card from corner to corner, referencing the card, not the paper, but the card. Start the admiral line, and now I'm going to do a horizontal for the bottom part of our rectangle. And this rectangle, like I said, will be the same proportion as the rectangle of the card, the shape of the card. The same aspect ratio, as they're called. The height to width ratio will be the same, it's just larger. Okay, finishing off my rectangle and using my credit card to uh, stabilize my ruler again. Now, I'm going to make an X going from the opposite corners. An X going from the opposite corners. That will mark the center. Anytime you put an X in a rectangle or a square, it marks the center. Okay, now let's get this horizontal line right on that center spot. 
making it square with the paper or perpendicular if you like. That's the center of my rectangle, and it's also my eye line. Stabilizing my ruler again, going for the the uh, vertical, the vertical part of the face, the nose line, if you would, right down the center, vertically. Okay. Okay. Now, now that is my uh, eyeliner, motorcycle noise. And I'm going to guesstimate the width of the eye. And that looks just about right, right there. That's just about right. I'm going to take an index card and mark off that width. We're going to use that distance to create uh, three eye widths three eyes, the width of three eyes. That's the most important thing. Centering that right now. Centering, centering, making sure it's in the center. So that's one eye lift between the two eyes. Checking. Now, we're going to do the rule of thirds. Two eye wheels makes one third of the face. So this is the lower third. Right there will also be my nose. The middle third from the nose to the eyebrow. So that's my eyebrow right here. And the top third, forehead. And that's going to be my hairline right there. One eye width makes the hairline. That gives us seven eye widths high and five wide. Although it's a little short, it's not quite five wide, but it's going to work. Trust me. All right, putting the eyes in. Sketching them in right now. Uh, let's check this just to be sure. Just to be sure. I'm just sketching the eyes in right now. Nose. Now one half eye for the top lip, lip, the top lip, one half eye distance from that nose. All right, putting in the top of the head now. This is going to be round. As you can see, I'm using those diagonal lines to get my symmetry just about right. And I'm going to do a shallow or more pointed line for the chin. It's not going to be as round. And that's going to give us the shape of the face. The top is more round. The lower part is more pointed. Even though there are so, so many different shapes you can do for the chin, we're just going to go with this kind of rounded, almost pointed shape. All right. Shaping up that face. There you see it. Eyebrows. Right at that uh, 
upper third, oh, I'll show you middle third, nose, the eyebrows and the nose occupy that middle third. The hairline, one eye will from the top. And let's just fluff some hair up here. I'm not doing a secret coat, no spike hair. You're just gonna fluff up some regular hair. If there is such a thing. Ears, ears are always between the eyebrow and the base of the nose. Speaking of the nose. All right, let's define these features a little bit. Starting with the eyes. If you haven't figured it out right now, if you haven't figured it out yet, use the eyes quite a bit as our measuring tool. The width of the eye. Five eyes wide and seven eyes tall. That was our measuring tool. Although we are a little bit under that, I would give it a, I would say it's about four and three quarters of an eye wide eyes. But that's okay. People have different size faces. Always. It's not always five eyes wide. Getting a nose in, of course. Finishing off that mouth or sketching in the mouth. I'm sketching in everything right now. Sketching in the uh, facial features. But you can see it's all there right now. And basically, there right now, you have your face in proportion. All there's stuff to do now is to shade it in, shade in the details, define the details, define the features, make them darker. A little shading for the hair. And this picture is just about done. Working that hair in there. Something about this right here. All about the details now. What should I say? The features. going to wrap this up and I appreciate you joining me again here on The Secret Code. I appreciate all the people who viewed last time and I hope that you will like, comment, and subscribe to this video so that I can continue to bring you more content like this. I have a lot more to share with you. So, please. Uh, give a like, thumbs up, uh, comment, and subscribe. That would help me out a whole lot. It really, really would. So we're going to erase these diagonals. I'm going to work on the hair a little bit. And I hope to see you all again next time on The Secret Code. Thank you for joining me and please join me again next time.